action. Stop there. Stay where we are, Alf. Stay where you are, Alf. Hello there, guys, and welcome yet to another tutorial and another video. Um, so today we're going to be doing uh, this. Yes, um, quite a sort of subtle um, effect, I think you agree, but the way I sort of play it when it comes to doing um, tutorials like this or effects like this is that you always got to remember when you're dealing with sort of horror scenes in general, it's about being as subtle as you can with the effects because obviously um, it's more based on intensity, it's more based on um, not jump scares in general, but a case of what is there that's coming for me what is um going on sort of scenario so the most important thing obviously is your cut um is audio and it is sound effects as well sound effects um and uh uh sound uh, uh score shall i say in general are the most important part of creating um a little scene like this so this was a uh, shot uh during the day again um, it was shot on a media sort of camera, nothing too serious. Um, it was shot on a Canon uh, 600D, um, so nothing too elaborate. So if you want to do this sort of thing yourself, um, you can actually do this, um, no problems if you've got any sort of cameras, or if you want to uh, do it on your uh, cell phone, if you've got like a really good camera on your cell phone, you can pull off shots like this as well. It's just about planning your shots um, and making it basically as eerie um, as possible so it's all to do with sort of like the edit how you plan your shots uh, in this part here as you can see I used the slider to sort of zoom into the door um, as the door was opening very simple effect to pull off it was a case of my son was on the other side of the door um, I told him as soon as I start moving I'm going to shout action when I want you to start opening the door really slowly you've got a lovely little effect like that and there's nothing um, been done special effects wise in that so there are a couple of little effects in this shot um of a couple of ghosts from the conjuring 2 films i will add them in the link in the description below so you can sort of play around with them um one of them is bill and bill is fully animated and he is a png sequence um he is matted so you can basically place him straight over your clips uh straight away and make him a 3d layer do whatever you want so, needless to say, let's just get right into it and jump straight into uh, the tutorial. Right, so, we are in uh, Premiere Pro at the moment. And the reason why we're in Premiere Pro is because I wanted to show you um, the cut itself. Which is, obviously, the most important part in putting a horror scene together. Uh, um, as you can see here, most of it is audio. And this is where you're going to get the effect from. Um, your 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 special effects look could be as mind blowing as they 
possibly can be. But if your sound and your score ain't right, it ain't going to work. So we're going to work on the first scene, which is here. And I wonder how many of you guys noticed there was a ghost in this corner just here. Um, if I just uh, shut off the audio, so I don't uh, deafen you guys. All right, if we look here, as it plays, a ghost pops up here, which is Valka. Just here. Ready? Here she is there. And I wonder how many of you guys picked up on that. And this is exactly what I mean about subtlety when creating a horror scene. Subtlety and a good score is the way to go. Good sound effects is the way to go when you're creating something like this. Because what you want to do is just make it as eerie as possible. Now, obviously, we've got the footsteps uh, running across the ceiling. That is common uh, horror um, film uh, audio. Near enough, all the horror films you see these days have some sort of, if they're ghost-based, they have some sort of, you know, demon or whatever it is running across the ceiling upstairs and you think to yourself what the hell is this now what i did obviously is implement a really a, a good couple of elements to this um if i just scroll forward here obviously we've got the door scene um which uh worked out pretty pretty cool um just here and as i walked down here my five-year-old wanted to be a part of this so here he is running pretending to be um, a ghost, uh, which just adds to the production value. All these little things that you can add to it really sort of bring uh, the effect of uh, haunting uh, to life. So let's jump into After Effects and um, I've got Valka here. So let me just close that. I've got Valka here. Um, she is very subtle. Let me just go back to her layer. Uh, she is quite subtle, Valka. She is right there. Um, and she does move if I just bring that across as you can see she does move quite subtly um, and her lighting changes so we're going to implement her into the shot which is going to take a bit of color grading um, and I'll show you what I did with that so let's just go back to the main comp and this is it full daylight as you can see and what I've done here I've put a spotlight here right here to give a reflection off the fridge and I've got a light shining here, which you can't see too much. But when we grade it down, it's going to make this part of the scene uh, black. So let's bring uh, Valka uh, into the shop. And I want her about here. And what we're going to need to do is we need, we're going to need to cut her out first. So let's just shut off um, our film layer and bring her in. And then we can zoom in so we can see her. And let's just do a quick dirty garbage mat. Uh, around where we think she's going to be. It doesn't have to be 100% neat because we're going to feather her out and she's going to be in a black background anyway, so you're not going to see any uh, um, bits around her. We just need to get rid of these uh, edges uh, here. As you can see, we've got some edges here. So we can sort of pull our mask down uh, so she's feathered out. Let's do that now. Alright, so that's that's basically her done. That's how easy it is. So let's um, put her back into position, uh, which is up here. Let's turn our layer on with our video. And she's right there in the corner. What we're going to do is um, we are going to uh, color grade this. Now, I've done this color grading uh, all in Premiere Pro. So what I basically mean by that is I'd rather work with Premiere to edit the cut and then add these simple effects uh, with an After Effects composition uh, while I'm editing because it makes the workflow a lot more easier. So this scene was already um, graded. So let, let's just add a curves to that, right? Um, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna bring the curves down here and you can see the nice light in here. Um, I can go to Valka and then I can add a curves layer onto her as well. Uh, let's go color correction, let's go curves. And let's just punch her up a bit so we can sort of see her. And then when you add your sort of final grade, um, you can uh, fix that later. So let's just bring this down a bit. And then it's basically a case of uh, selecting Valka and then just moving her sort of into position there. So uh, we could fix um, the 
the uh, mask in around her um, as we go along so we can just bring the mask up just to make sure um, she sort of blended into the scene uh, a lot better so that's how simple it is so if we play that back um, as you can see she's there in the background very sort of subtle and you're thinking what the hell's going on there so that's effect number one uh sort of out the way um it's so straightforward guys it's unbelievable it's a case of playing around with um the way she looks and obviously this is not the final grade um and i'll show you the final grade uh once we jump back into premiere pro and we've got these effects in so uh, let's move on to the second um, effect. So I'm going to import another piece of footage, uh, which is Bill. I will also, guys, include Bill. Here's Bill here uh, in the description below. So I'm going to select him. He is a PNG sequence, so make sure you import him as a PNG. Um, and then I'm going to import the clip that I used uh, to do my jump scare, which is all my footage here. Uh, I've just got to make sure I get the right piece of footage, which is, should be here. Um, I'm just going to uh, bring that into a new comp here. I'm just going to edit it down as I go back. And as you can see, it is in broad daylight. So I just cut it, say, about there. So let's just trim that because that's where the effect happens. And like I just said, guys, you would replace this with an After Effects composition while you're editing it in uh, Premiere Pro. Uh, which is the easiest way to add your effects into well it's the right way anyway so let's just trim that and um, i've got bill here so i'm just going to drop bill on so we can actually see him put s on the keyboard and then i'm just going to scale bill up now you can track bill in if you want uh but you don't have to um, because like i say it's going to be dark anyway and he is very very subtle anyway so he's he's just he just pops up literally seconds so there we are bills there let's just uh moving around a bit now you can sort of keyframe in but first of all what i'm going to do guys is i am going to come to my video layer i'm going to control d that to duplicate the layer and with the one that i've just duplicated i'm just going to shut bill off for now and i'm just going to do um a rough garbage mat uh around here Let's just put that around here. Like that. And then I can play around with this garbage mat in a minute, okay? Um, so, oh, I didn't want to do that. Um, let's just put this over here so I don't lose it. Right, so I'm going to get Bill. I'm just going to drop him below uh, in the middle, shall I say. And now he's behind. I'm going to get my uh, footage and then I'm just going to play around uh, with the actual garbage mat itself. Okay, to put it into position and basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a bill basically behind me which is what we've done uh, in this scene here uh, let's just select my tool so about that pops up usually I use dual screens so well I do use dual screens now just bring these around if you want to add some more points go to your mask and just add some more points there uh, just to make the uh, layer more neater to play around with and you can sort of play around with this mask as much as you want, really, uh, to get Bill in the right place. Now, obviously, I know what you're thinking, Carlo. That doesn't look very real because of this. But once you add your color correction um, and your grade, um, this is going to look pretty goddamn cool. So um, let's just bring this in. And then we can click on Bill and then we can sort of move Bill around uh, wherever we want. Now. You've got this layer, which is me, and you've got this layer, which is now the new background, basically. So you need to uh, grade these individually. So I'm going to go to effects, I'm going to go to color correction, uh, I'm going to go to curves, and then I'm just going to drop this right down so it's nice and dark. All right? And as you can see, this bit needs fixing as well. So I'm going to go to that clip, right, sorry, right clip, effects, color correction, curves, and I'm just going to bring that curves layer down as well and bill is still there in the background uh, let's go back to the main comp um, as you can see and then we can get um that layer the f on the keyboard uh feather it out a bit all right so 
And basically what that's doing is just bring the mask sort of up. Like so. Just so he pops up uh, when you're ready. So you you would play around with this, with, with, with this colour correction. Don't get me wrong. You know, there we are. It's a simple garbage mat. It's starting to look okay now. But when you add your final uh, edit, or your final colour grade, shall I say, um, he ain't going to look too bad. And the beauty of him now, he you can sort of place him where you want him to now. So if we just ran preview that quickly. He's there. Now, you can animate him. It's entirely up to you. If you want him to be more steady in the shot. Um, you can, but what we're going to do now with Bill is we're going to simply make him a 3D layer. Um, and then when we make him a 3D layer, we can pull him, push him back, right back into Z space up here. If you want to mask the ball frame up, you can. Uh, but I've sort of cut him there. If we look at, uh, let's go back here. Let's double click on Bill. Um, if you look here, I've cut him straight down so you can put him up against the door frame. Um, straight away really so let's just go back to the comp and there he is there and you can sort of tr normally i would track this but there's no need because it's so subtle and it's so quick this clip um it's literally 18 seconds long not even that look 18 frames look and he's gone but he does come with audio so don't worry he does come with the uh, audio attached to himself and i will provide the audio in the description below because this is a png sequence and because this is a separate case, I've got the audio for his voice um, added to the link in the description. So go to the media file link in the description below. Download the complete country in two pack um, with uh, Bill. You've got Valkar and you've got Bill's audio as well um, for you to sort of play around with and do whatever you want. But that's that's basically it. Now, you see the way he's moving there and the way I'm moving. Normally you would track that, like I just said, but there's no need because once we put the final grade on, so if I go back to Premiere Pro and I go back to where Bill is, uh, uh, let's just find Bill there, um, as you can see, he blended nicely with um, the final grade. Um, plus you've got your crop window and it just makes it look really good. Now, I am using for colour grading the LUT pack via Truem Films. Um, and I will post a link in the description below where you can pick that up. It's only like 40 bucks and it is the best uh, LUT pack I've ever used in my life. Um, it comes complete with uh, LUTs for all sorts of different movies. As you can see, if I just click on them and you can sort of change the way uh, the look of your film looks uh, to the to the respect of certain films that are out uh, now or out on Blu-ray or out in the cinema so on and so on. So it's entirely up to you um, how you sort of do that. Like I've just said, guys, it is mostly based on editing. It is mostly based on sound effects as well. So what you want to do is you want to grab yourself a nice little um, uh, soundtrack pack. This soundtrack I've written, wrote myself uh, and I've created myself. If you do require uh, a copy of this uh, soundtrack pack, leave a note in the description below for me um, and I'll try and sort something out for you guys. Um, but it will be a case of that you would have to uh, sorry subscribe first uh, before you get permission for myself um, to use it. Because like I just said, a lot of people charge for their soundtracks. A lot of people charge uh, for their sound effects. Um, this took me a lot of time to uh, write this soundtrack and create these sound effects. Um, it was frightening. So obviously it's not a case of something I can give away for free. But if you do subscribe to the channel and you want this soundtrack pack... Uh, just leave a link in the, uh, sorry leave a message uh, in the description below um, and subscribe to the channel and I'll do my best to get that out to you uh, as quick as I can so simple as anything very simple very straightforward uh, special effects um, to create some really cool uh, scary scenes um, for the conjuring so uh next tutorial or next teaser we'll be looking at annabella and this is going to be quite an interesting one uh, for annabella uh, but ha if you have enjoyed this uh halloween month uh, tutorial do remember a like rating will definitely be appreciated and as always we'll definitely catch you in the next video ciao ciao wherever love goes there is also misery it's no mystery and you and I, we got history, yeah